A Friday night standoff in Prior Lake ends peacefully with a barricaded man surrendering, but it was hours of gunfire and negotiation prior to that. According to police, this is what unfolded. Around 1.30 Friday afternoon, a 31-year-old man was at a quick trip, acting erratically and digging through a dumpster. When police arrived and asked for ID, he grabbed for a gun that was tucked in his waistband. Police tased the man, but he was able to run into a nearby home that had a family inside. Well, that family quickly evacuated themselves and their dog. Police were there, and he allegedly pointed his gun at them numerous times before officers then backed out of the home. Then the standoff was underway. During that standoff, he fired multiple rounds off in the house um, through windows, through the walls, we believe through the roof. We're still working on uh, the details of all that damage to the home and what might have been done. The chief also said the man accessed the family's guns, although it's not known if he used the guns or just the gun he had brought with him. Eventually, negotiators were able to talk the man into surrendering right around 10 p.m. We're told he was well known to Scott County law enforcement. He was going to be checked out at the local hospital and then taken to jail. Throughout all the day's events, though, no one was injured.